need to watch that like 25 more times. <laughs> 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 it's like... Hey, what is up, everybody? It is me, Sean Tanktop. I'm over here at Casa de Tanktop, hanging out with my very good friends, Dustin and Morgan. Drace over there at the Drogon Dojo. Drace, how you Aww. doing over there, Drace? Doing great. Doing great. Yep. Looking yeah. awesome dragons. You think we're going to get dragons in a, house, in a show called Look. House of the Dragon? Yeah. You think so? <laughs> I think so. This is the final trailer that we're getting. This is the final full-length trailer that we're getting for Hot D, Hot House of the Dragon, or as we have been calling it over D. here for Hot D. And <laughs> this is going to probably paint the broadest picture of of the of the scope and the scale and 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 everything that they did, that everybody has been working on with this show. We got one more month and then we're back in it. You know what I mean? And I'm excited. How are you feeling over there, Morgan? <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to watch it. <laughs> you think you're going to sit it out? Just yeah. kidding. I'm like so excited and I really wanted to watch it. Like, we'll just get into it. You want to just get into it? We'll take a look and I think that that'll kind of dictate what we're going to what we're gonna yeah. Yeah. talk about later. I mean, like, yeah, because so we appreciate you guys for coming by, watching the reaction of it. Just real quick before you get going. There was a featurette that was dropped. Mm -hmm. is if you guys want to already get on some Patreon exclusive content for House of the Dragon, which we're going to be running a lot of when we cover it, when this show is in the bar. We are going to show the show in the bar. We're going to be doing a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of live streams that you all can get access to stuff and get it early before anybody else on our Patreon, including our reaction to that really cool feature at realizing what worked in first, what didn't. Oh. What, didn't. <laughs> what didn't. What didn't. <laughs> Shade. Damn. Oh. That skull is... Fucking enormous. Where they interviewed George and Miguel and everybody. Ryan Cons something. Ryan Cons Cons I think is his Cons name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah but yeah, like, Cons if you guys want to get access to that, you can hit us up over on our Patreon. The links in the top and comment or the description below. But if you can't do that, hit us with a like and a subscribe. Hit the bell thingies because when we do start dropping these things, we're gonna you guys are gonna be getting bar reactions, you're gonna be getting commentaries, you're gonna be getting live streams, you're gonna be getting a lot of shit. So we're gonna be going I'm full court be fucking very press annoying. Over here. It's gonna be awesome. What the fuck are you talking about like it's gonna be we have a ton of great content coming out starring morgan specifically um and so we hope that you guys keep it here so we appreciate y'all for coming by Ooh, new score Damn. Damn. Whoa. That of your succession. There's Hightower, right? Oh, look at that. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. The king has an heir, Damon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. <laughs> Really cool. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I 
think that that was a white dragon, wasn't it? That's different than the red one. Definitely lighter colored. They definitely like made the dragons hyper hyper distinct from one another. Yeah, yeah. Like they're so really like, like, they're, like they're really taking the fucking time to make them look very even just facially different. Like some like what that one looked look more sleek. Like it could like dive underwater really easily or something like that. I don't know. Like, but the, and then the other one was like a little kind of like more kind of spiky and stuff like. It was cool. That was fucking sick. Ooh, what'd you think? I need to watch that like twenty five more times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's right. the problem with these like first reactions. Like, I need a, a frame by frame breakdown. It's just a lot to take in. Sure. But I mean, it's more. It's I mean, it's where I thought they were going with it. Where it's like conflict between friends, and then I think at the end, I think that's Damon's dragon because it's uh, uh yeah. Seraxes is white. I don't know what his eyes weren't red because like sure. he's known as like Bloodworm is his nickname because he's Bloodworm. Me Bloodworm because he's mean. He got red eyes <laughs> and he's white <laughs> oh, like a shit. worm. Interesting. He so I'm like that's <laughs> the so sperm rude. dragon. <laughs> no, it's not gross. The sperm worm. I'm into it, <laughs> The, he's, it, he's like Dennis Rodman of dragons. Yeah. He's known as the worm. <laughs> Come, you know, the dragon comes up kamikaze, kamikaze, or whatever the fuck it was, right? The, uh, which would be fucking gnarly if a dragon did that, actually. It'd be <laughs> awesome. But there was some, like, there was a lot of, I know that, like, you know, there is going to be a lot of setup, but they are not going to shy away from, like, I mean, again, we've, we we kind of, we talked about this a little bit in the, um, in the, in the feature discussion, but, like, you know, it's just one of the most fascinating things about this is just a, a truly full, fully realized and functioning Targaryen kingdom. Yeah, I mean, my favorite. Endlessly fascinating to me. Yeah, yeah. interesting thing that I'm going to, like, pause and, like, stare at is, like, that marketplace or, like, with the, with the like, statues and the... Mm -hmm. And then they also showed a close-up of uh, the king cutting himself on the freaking throne. Yeah, Which yeah. is, like, we always were told, like, the Iron Throne, like, certain kings always get cut by it. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, we're seeing it happen. Why did we never see that with Joffrey? Yeah, right. <laughs> We never saw that with Joffrey, yeah. and I just well, wanted I think, that. I think that's also like again, and it's just like a little. It's it's more subtle world building because I mean, obviously, you know, if you look at like, you know, like like there's a couple of illustrations that George has said are like his favorite or whatever it is, and it's just it, it's like that's just impossible to realistically put on screen. You know what I mean? Like or even believability wise and shit like that. But they kind of had like a fun middle ground that they had having them be so spread out along the floor and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and like how. Probably like when the Targaryens kind of fell out of fortune or whatever it was, or just somebody was just like, you, you know, this this, this thing is kind of this kind of, kind of dangerous, kind of sharp over here. <laughs> maybe we gotta, maybe we gotta. Like people came out and probably buffed out some of the edges. They I too think... many too many fucking servants that probably fell over and impaled their fucking heads, you know, or whatever. That's it what is. I'm saying. I feel like we're gonna see at least one impalement on these. There uh, has to be the floor swords. There has Too many to floor be. swords. We're and they're like, right there. It's going to happen before the end of the show. It and the Westerosi like, safety inspector is like, oh, that's your problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> Violation of like, building codes. You got codes. swords on your floor. And I think we've had five people fall on these swords and impale themselves <laughs> to death or whatever. So I think we're going to have to beef that Mostly up a little bit. Mostly because Jay Harry's makes everybody play sword on the floor. Sword, <laughs> <laughs> sword on the floor. Sword on the floor. <laughs> That's the other thing, like, a lot of the other teasers and the other trailers, they're like, and and this had it too, a lot of like, you know, like disembodied voiceover, over images and stuff like that. This one, I remember we had like a lot of lines being, like a lot of dialogue being spoken on camera and seeing like, yeah, like, um, was it the sea snake? He was saying some of his first shit for the first time, like on yeah, camera and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and he's married to a, a, a woman who was, a Targaryen who was passed over, um, who was cheated out of the throne. They, she's the one who says they'd let they'd burn the realm before they would let a woman. Ascend yeah, too. Well, because like, she's talking. She knows yeah, from Yeah, from but I'm seeing like her and Corley's as like the old, like they're they've been kind of through this bullshit before. The politically like savvy couple, kind of in a certain. Yes, sense. they're going to be like the most important advisors, probably, mm. just because like they're. That. The most they they've seen this shit, and also Corlys <laughs> is like, you need him. He's like basically uh, what the Greyjoys are. Not they're not like the same culture at all, but like 
when you talk about a fleet that you need for your army. Commander mm-hmm. of the it, Sea. It's, Com- it's yeah. Sea Snake. Like, he's who you need. And so, like, yeah, whoever the two sides will probably fight over him. Mm-hmm. Being like Again, something that I loved so much, and I'm sure because you've done, you've done a recent rewatch. Um, yeah. You know, Morgan, which, which also means that Dustin's probably done, like, a partial rewatch. Cause, you know, mm-hmm. like a little a certain, bit. A like, little bit. We said this before. I want more garden walks i want that story yeah. i want that conniving i want that backstabby thrillery type of stuff and to see some of the things that they're doing it just seems like it's there it seems like there's it, you yeah know, it, it seems like they're really going for that and like this is all about scheming this the season season's all about scheming yeah. it's a scheming season right the season for scheming and making moves <laughs> Scheming to claim mm-hmm. dragons, scheming to claim thrones, scheming yeah. to claim lovers. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, ooh, I mean, sure. You know, I mean, they like... haven't had a lot of, in these trailers, there's not a lot of um, Miss Aria, Miss Misery, mm. Miss mm. Misery business herself. Uh, she's the one, she's Damon's, like, lover. Uh, she's, like, a, she becomes. Like a, like a side like, piece, or is, is that, like, who he's, Well, Targaryens like... are kind of polyamorous anyway, but sure. he uses her. She's, she's like, a varies. Basically, okay. She's right. a whisperer. She knows everything. Like okay. she's just, she's got the info. So yeah. that's where the scheming intrigue. Mm. So I'm, I'm in- confused. I'm like, oh, maybe they're just hiding her. But she's in it. She's definitely cast. She's definitely in it. But like you said, like that's the other thing. It's like we have a beginning. We have kind of a beginning, middle, and an end. But there's so much to fill in. There's also potential POV things, aspects about how they, you know, how George put together Fire and Blood that like will. Like could be, it could just be different. It could be just. That's the thing. I think I know what's happening, but yeah, like they probably because they did. They already changed a bunch of shit. So, but I'm like, I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. Uh, they made the them buddies, the girl right? who's young and adult. Yeah. The, she, her, they are like the kind of the same age, and their like friendship is like right, part right, of the right, show. Right. Yeah. It's like sure. a little different in the. Books. The young version. I don't know why the young version gives me the fucking creeps. What? <laughs> a little bit. Just, just like just she's a Targaryen. She's supposed to. I know. That's, that's what. Point. I, I know. That's why. I mean, they, yeah, they're doing their job. I mean, like you know, yeah, like the, she, the, she the, went. But, she yeah, definitely like, went to the Amelia Clark School of Acting for sure. <laughs> what doing with her eyebrows? Yeah, she's doing like that, like you know, season one Danny vibes. There like so I think she's just kind of figuring out how to get into a role. There were some face-offs yeah. though that looked pretty tense and shit. There was that one like on that in Dragonstone. It looked like. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, you know, on like that cool like bridge or whatever that we've seen John and Danny and Missandei like walk through before and shit. Yeah, it's a place yep. in Spain that's fucking super rad. And like, and if I ever go there, I'm gonna if I if I ever end up going to that shooting stadium, I'm definitely walking down that fucking shit. But like the but like that was fun and like it's like kind of like cool like fun standoffy type of shit or whatever. And then there was also just a fuckload of bodies. There was a there was a dragon fucking. Rolling around the side of like a cliff, like strafing guys with fire, or whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Like, I, oh I yeah, mean, there's gonna be a lot of death. It's gonna be great. Well, on these dragons, man. I, yeah, I mean, like, and that's what that's what's wild is that this is still just the this is this is the scheming season. But you know that they're gonna pop some a bunch well, of. Shit I in think there. they have. To. They're gonna show probably because there are like little uprisings here and there. Like they're probably I think it's like Dornish uprisings, where just to establish why they're in their position. I feel like a lot of our dragon fights are gonna be them putting down rebellion like maybe here and there i don't think it'll be like a main i mean this is me totally speculating right. because i think it's so much about interpersonal stuff mm. but they do need to establish like this is why they're like king shit of fuck mountain mm. is because <laughs> of dragons <laughs> and so by the end when like you know dragons are like fighting you're like oh shit you're like Fighting amongst each other, this is not yeah. going to be good for your future. Yeah, well, it, or it, it's like to, to to demonstrate. It's like the, you know, in like a western, you got to have like the initial gunfight with like you know the surly town drunk to demonstrate how yes. good, how dangerous. Their skill. And that's yeah, probably yeah, yeah. What the, and that's probably what we're gonna. Uh, yeah, they're probably gonna pop that in what probably episode one or two or something like. That. Also, yeah. that's the other thing is like now with like Disney Plus and how they cut their trailers, that like sometimes it only take shit from like the first two episodes and shit like right. that. So maybe all know, that's just only right? from the first, like, three episodes or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's very exciting. Um, definitely. Also, like, settled in a little bit better. Obviously, like, when you see it, like, lit, how it's supposed to be lit, filmed on the types of cameras and lenses and stuff like, again, like, people would freak the fuck out, you know, on the internet, never heard of it. But, like, you know, when they would when they would see, like, a, a shot from a fucking iPhone 
from like another mountain far away while they're shooting like on a beach or something like that. And they're just mm-hmm. like, this stuff looks like shit. And it's like, well, it's not color graded. It's not looking like all that stuff is yeah. designed on to be on the type of camera and the type of image that they're making mm-hmm. and shit. And like, and even like, but even like when they're doing like a backstage like interview or whatever it is, like it can, it can kind of just not, it can, it cannot look, look how right. it's supposed to look, yeah. you know? It's like when you go and like, you're, you're in like a, uh, a Best Buy and they've got all the TVs with motion smoothing on and no. you're just like, what is, yeah. what is wrong with this movie? Like, why does this look so shit? Yeah, it looks was, like a telenovela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Daenerys found out that most of King's Landing left their motion smoothing on and that's why she decided that was it. To put him, to like, put him to you the torch. Die. She's just like, you got, you got she's to die. Like, she's you like, guys you're... had time to figure this out. And... You're going to watch season eight the way it was meant to be seen, <laughs> God damn it. You know what I mean? Like, that's what she was doing over there. Um, I know that these types of shows, they do, they work all the way up until like the last like couple of days before they got to punch this thing in. And, yep. but, it, but it looks really strong. It looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really good. And this Definitely. is the first time we're seeing like actual scenes from it. So it's not, it doesn't look like it's like behind the scenes stuff. And that, that makes all the difference in the world in terms of immersion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, and again, like, and again, like some, some seemingly dialogue scenes, like they would have like, they seem like the other ones, they would have like, you know, somebody, somebody says something interesting. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're kind of doing that type of shit. Like, whereas yeah. like, now, like, we got people who are in each other's faces saying, like, sacrifice, something like that. Like, talk yeah. about big, cool, interesting shit. You know what I mean? So to see it, to see it kind of more alive as a piece of drama, I think was very, mm-hmm. what, that, this is the closest that we've get it to it until we actually get fucking eyeballs on it and fucking, yeah. you know, in, in August and shit. So, um, which we're going to be putting in the book. Uh, you know, and we're, we're going to be watching more. The, um, the, but like, yeah. So, I, I mean, any other, any other parting thoughts? Did, did they bring back uh, Tommy Dunn, the armorer? I don't know, but he. We gotta he look has that up. To. We, we yeah. Look that up. Yeah, that was. I feel like they have, unless he moved on. And he was like sometimes in the show too. When I was watching yeah. it, uh, I was yeah. like, oh, it's First Tommy. Scenes, yeah. Look at him there as he is doing the armory thing. And also just a fucking stud too, like or whatever. It's like built like a brick nice shit house. Dude. It was and, and, like, funny nice to hell, see right? like him and then uh andy the extra because we met him too at, right. at con of their own so we gave him malort for the first time and he did not like it <laughs> but it was funny just to like be watching game of thrones like over again and i'm just like oh it's andy yeah it's right like, i was like I've seen, I've seen that guy i've seen that guy he winced more while taking a shot of malort than he did in the battle of the bastards just do a shot <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that fuck out of it. It's delicious. It's Molor. It's tasty. It's refreshing. Molor, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things that I've ever shot in my entire life. Right. <laughs> well, it was a little rougher of a yeah, time. Oh my God. It's like, well, well, now, now, I mean, now we have to show it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> with with Game of Thrones, with the relationship that the fans of that show kind of have with the property, and with I mean, with with almost every even casual, more casual fans like have with the property, this is the most confident I have been in in the show's ability to. To, to kind of entertain me in the way that I want to be entertained. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I've, I've had, you know, like, I've, you, you know, you're just, it's just, you know, it was such a fucking colossal fuck up, like in some, in some respects, in yeah. some respects, not all. Um, not all, uh, there's some good, there's some all, sh- like, I'm but, watching it right now, there's some good shit in there. there no, no, there, absolutely there. It's like, it's like, but that's what makes it, that's what makes it sting so much. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, and it's so, but, but like, you know, and I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, it's like, it's like the same thing. It's like if 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 Snu if Snu comes out, <laughs> you know, comes out with like with like a bomb ass trailer and a strong concept, I'm fucking down. It just kind of depends. But but you know, with all this material, like I have I have never been more confident that this is something that I would enjoy and that I would really like to get back into. Like like really make yeah. me want to be a part of the world again. You know, mostly because like we know George is in it. He's he's there. Uh, he's in really deeply involved, so I'm like, I just, tr- I just trust because it's like the dialogue. We're gonna get some dialogue from him that we we do, wouldn't normally get. I'm like really excited. Also, like, I'm excited for people who don't even like. What if this is your first Game of Thrones ever? 
Like you oh, just like, I like, like they, and then they get to watch you the know, sequel. Kids, <laughs> like you know, no, like kids coming up. Yeah, you know, this is their prequels. They're, they're just yeah. kind of like I love dragons and swords. I'm just like an I just like dragons and swords. It's a sh show about dragons. Want to watch it? And if they get sucked in, there's so much to geek out about. It's like yeah. getting into Tolkien for the first time. Sure. If you even just kind of casually like watch it and you like like it, mm. you can go deep. You can get on the fan boards. You can like read the fan fiction. You can like read all you like the Wikipedia. All of those layers of that onion. Same thing with the feature out where it's like this is their calling card. They're pulling a lot of car. They're they're. It seems like they're. It seems like they're trying to really put. The time and the care and everything like that into the into the you know like the the, the areas that we are probably I or at least that I know that I'm very the most concerned about you know what I mean yeah like, that it doesn't that it doesn't feel like a cheap fucking cash in you know mm -hmm. that it really because the production value looks really strong and really fucking yep. rich and good and stuff and like and they have I, from what I understand they're absolutely fucking out overspending what they did for season eight like like already oh like, yeah. And so, I mean, those dragons uh, are expensive. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is going to yeah. be an expensive show. It's be an expensive show, and, you know, and like just because you know, of those dragons. Well, and, and also, just like now, we're just also sort of we're in this weird kind of other thing where it's like we got these other premium, you know, streaming services that are, are you know out the gate, a hundred and fifty dollars, a hundred fifty million on you know on a on a on a season. You know what I mean? And yeah. So, and so they got to bring it, and it seems it looks it looks very promising. It's as, it's as confident as I've ever been in the material. Like you know, watching this, so I'm excited, man. You guys, I'm. I mean, uh, this this next month can't come soon enough, huh? It's gonna be, it's gonna <laughs> it's be great. Gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna, gonna be gonna a be ride. Rough. It's gonna be cool to be back in the bar because we're fucking going back to the goddamn fucking bar, and it's gonna be cool to be do it. It's gonna be cool to kind of back doing our classic Watchers in the Bar commentary stuff too. It's gonna be. We're gonna be also doing um a bunch of live streams and everything like that over here. So if you guys want to make it on over for our fucking goofy weird. Awesome coverage that we got over that we're gonna have over here at Watchers in the Bar. We guys hope that you guys consider hitting that like, hitting that subscribe, and also if you guys want an extended conversation from the and and reaction to the featurette that was dropped a couple of days ago, you guys get that by becoming a part of our Patreon. We got our links in the top pin comment or the description below. You click either one of those, get on over to the Vassal tier, and that'll get you early access, exclusive access. No one else in the world gets to see that fucking video except for our patrons. So if you guys go head on over there, that'll get you early access to that. Um, along with a bunch of other stuff that you're going to do once we start to cover House of the Fucking Dragon, a.k.a. Hot D. Very excited to fucking check it out. We thank you guys for, for hanging out with us. And we'll see you guys in August.